Um, again, you want to make note of it um, that it's the 2020 fall coastal Georgia butterfly count, and it's going to um, occur from October 9th through the 12th. So this is something you would do on your own and how you can contribute to science and research by taking pictures of pollinators. So it's a really fun thing to do. And you could submit um, any of your photos between those dates. Um, so what I wanna show you guys is how to, um, you know, go to, how to get onto the website, um, just Google iNaturalist, and then this will come up. And I wanna show you how to sign up, um, how to find our project, and then um, just some other little features of it. And I'll try to up, I'll upload a picture, show you a little bit how it works. Um, so once you um, Google iNaturalist, this page will come up. So you're like, oh my gosh, where do I go, right? Um, the easiest way I found was um, just to go down to join today, click on that link. And then um, if you already have an account, you can log in at this point. Um, if you don't have an account, you just um, put your email in, give a pass, you know, a username, password, um, define that you're not a robot, <laughs> and then create your account here, agree to these terms. Um, I already have an account, so I'm going to bypass this um, and get into it. So here I am, I'm going to log in. So this is, it'll, it'll just log you in when you, you know, already have an account. So this is what you see when you open up the iNaturalist. Um, and you can add observations here, like if you just do one you know, in your um, backyard. Here are some of my observations um, here, and it kind of shows you, you know, where those occurred. Um, but if you go back to that original page here, the way to find our project um, can be a little bit confusing, right? <laughs> when you get in here, um, go to community up here at the top and projects, right? So you're gonna join a project. Here it is here. Um, and then you're gonna search for it, okay? Cause it's, it's probably not the most important one going on, right? So what I put in there was like 2020 fall coastal. I just kind of put in the beginning of our, um, our project. But again, it's really called the 2020 fall coastal Georgia butterfly count. And then um, select go and it pops up. Um, so you just click on it, and then um, I had joined before, but I unjoined so I could show you. Um, it just talks about what, um, you know, when it begins, um, what we want you looking at, butterflies and moths, pretty much anything, um, in the different locations, the counties, um, which I'm assuming all of you guys are in, or you could uh, venture into. Shows the map, too, which is kind of neat here, coastal Georgia. And um, what you do is just go up here where it says join, and there's already some members that have joined, so that's awesome. Say, yes, I want to join. And now what you do, and there's also an app for your phone, so if you, you know, take pictures on your phone, and you can upload it directly from there. Um, there's a little upload here in the top right, and that's where you would upload a photo. Okay, choose a file on your computer or whatever. Um, I'm not gonna do anything on this one, only because it hasn't started yet. <laughs> um, so what I'm gonna do is go back to um, just my page, my beginning page here. I'm gonna stay in the project. But again, the way to find that project is to go to community, projects, and then search. That's the way you find it. And I'm gonna to go to my observations here. And I'm gonna to try to, I'm gonna show you how to upload it and, and show you kind of what is involved in that. It's fairly easy. Um, you just have to know like the date that you took it and where you took it. Sometimes it'll automatically load. Sometimes it won't if you're putting them from your computer. Um, but if you click this little upload, choose a file, I just placed a couple on here. I know this is a black swallowtail, but this is the really cool thing about iNaturalist is that you can learn um, your species. So if you don't know what it is, just like click on here and it'll load suggestions. Like this is what I think it looks like. And I already know that it's a black swallowtail. So I could say black swallowtail. Um, what is the date? I can't remember, I'm gonna have to go back and do that. But you, but you have to put the date in and um, 
your location, and then any notes you can add into there. Now I will say, if you don't have the date on there, it cannot be used for research. So the more information you can put on it, um, you know, the better. So it has like all the, like captive, cultivated, location is public, whatever. Um, there's many different other things that you can add to it. So I'm gonna discard this one for a minute, but I wanna go in and show you um, one of my, um, one of my species here. I think it's the eight spotted forester moth. So um, the cool thing about this is people can make comments on here. So like the observation date didn't come through. Someone, so someone posted, you know, can you please put the date in? Um, that way it can be used for research. Um, or people will say, yes, that's the, you know, that is the butterfly that is, and they can ID it for you. So it's just a, a wonderful little um, resource. So you'll see like research grade next to it if it's, this is a pretty bad picture, but um, like I suggested an ID, um, my friend Debo um, said the same thing. Um, so people can comment on it and, and so on and so forth. So it's a really great, um, really great resource to have. So that's, um, it's just kind of getting used to it and figuring out if you're going to do it on your phone or, um, or if you're using your camera and you're going to download it later, you can just do it on your computer like I'm doing here. But um, wonderful resource, and I hope that you all will join our project and contribute to that in October. Something to do outside, um, you can socially distance, you can do it by yourself. Um, so it's a super fun event. We had, um, we had another one in the spring here. Um, let me see if I could find it here. The Spring Coastal Georgia event. And it also shows you like how many observations were made, how many species, who had the most observations. <laughs> so there's like a little race. Um, most observed species was a monarch. Um, so it's it's a really kind of neat little little feature there. Um, we had 22 people that um, were observing. So hopefully we can uh, beat that record and you know, get more of you guys out there observing butterflies and um, you know learning more about your natural environment. So that's, um, that's pretty much all I have.